Hey guys, my name's Matt, and today we're going to be looking at how exactly Tokoro is used in Japanese. Now, Tokoro is a pretty interesting piece of language because it appears quite simple as it's the word for a place. However, as you may have already noticed, there are many times when you can't actually translate it as place, especially when used as a grammar point. And so today we're going to be looking at a variety of different ways in which Tokoro can be used so that by the end of this video, you'll have a very, very, very strong feeling for how this piece of grammar is used. So first up, Tokoro, as we know, means place. Now, just by itself, place isn't sufficient. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the Japanese definitions here so you can get a really good feel for exactly how it's used in Japanese. Generally speaking, there are two different ways that tokoro is used. The first way you'll see it used is here as a location or a place or even a position spatially. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look a little bit deeper into how exactly it's used. So the first point here is how we can see that it's used as a point or a place. This can very much be seen as a one-to-one -one translation of the word tokoro as a place, a faraway place, the point that you leave town, time and place, or even the place near the window. So just like seen here in Shingeki no Kyojin, as if I could die in a place like this. So here we can see konna tokoro means a place like this. <sighs> Again, we see here a far away place, toi tokoro. Now we see it being used a little bit more like point. So we have at a point 30 miles to the north. What are you guys doing in a place like this? And we can even see it used here in a contraction here with hitome no aru toko. So toko is just a short form of tokoro. The next use of tokoro that's used in a kind of spatial way here is when talking about a place that you live, like your residence or your address. So sumu tokoro ga nai means I don't have any place to live. This is the place that you live in. Mushi ga sundeiru tokoro, this is the place where bugs are living. Same here with the place where children live, sumu tokoro. And it's even used as a complete replacement of the word sundeiru basho or jusho for the place you're living or your address. You can just say tokoro, like here in washi no tokoro, my place. The place I live, right? Now kind of going one step further, Tokoro here can actually be used as a place that you're kind of connected to, whether in your home, office, or even society. So here it shows a little bit more of a connection to where you're attached to, here with Shozoku. Ani no Tokoro here is talking about my brother's family. Anata no Tokoro here is referring to the place in which you work. So just like here in 13 Sentinels, Keitaro's assignment is to the same place as mine. So here he's talking about the same kind of society establishment organization that he belongs to. Again, we can see it here with Omae no Tokoro. Here is your place, but this is referring to your kind of group. And the exact same sentence now referring to more of like an organization, like a business. 
うちらみたいな貧乏グループのとこにシードが聞いてくれないって思ってたんだ。And again, like seen here in Final Fantasy VIII, is some kind of group, here the kind of rebel group. それと、歩行兵器となれば、狙うべきところはおのずと決まってくる。Now, the final spatial use of Tokoro here, like seen used in ある箇所 or 部分 which means a certain point or part, something you can kind of point to and say that point, right? So here, Tokoro can be used in the same way. Like, for example, Kuchi no ue no Tokoro, the above part of your mouth. Sangyo me no Tokoro, here referring to the third line, like on a piece of paper. So you can see that it's used to talk about a point that you can almost point at, right? That point. Sono Tokoro. It's often used just like seen here in Astral Chain to talk about a part that hurts, right? A point that hurts. Edo, Or, for example, like a part of you that feels sick, right? Like, Guai no warui tokoro, right? So, oh, I feel a little bit weird here. And then finally, here in Metal Gear Solid, here looking at the face, parts of a face that look similar to one's own. So, the first main use of Tokoro here to talk about a spatial part is pretty straightforward and simple. Where it gets a little bit more complicated is in the second use. Here it's to talk about a little bit more of an abstract point, or even some sort of circumstance, situation, or even the scene of something. Let's take a look at some examples. So, this first use of Tokoro when talking about more abstract use, you can kind of think of as kind of like at this stage, Kono Tokoro, right? At this point, right? So, here it's more abstract. We're not talking about an actual point that you can point at, but more of this point in time. And so, just like it says in the Japanese definition, Jikan no nagare no naka no aru bubun. So, it's like a point inside the flow of time, right? At that point in time. So, just like seen here in Persona 4, Genzai no Tokoro here is to talk about at this current point. At this current point, it's not currently known. Again, we can see it used to refer to time here with Ima no Tokoro. So, as for this point right now, Again, here talking about kyo no tokoro, so as for this point of today. So it's kind of like saying at this point today, yep, I'm gonna withdraw, I'm gonna stop doing what I'm doing at this point for today. Kyo no tokoro. Kyo no tokoro wa mou kaeri nasai. Again, we can see it used in Persona 4, and it has this kind of feeling of like, this is the final point for today. Kyo no tokoro wa, as of for this point, mou kaeri nasai. Please go home. とりあえずこんなところかな Finally, we can see it used here in Astral Chain to kind of talk about this being it, right? That's about it, I guess. So here we see, Konna Tokoro Kana. So this shows that he's been investigating something, trying to kind of find out something, and、uh, this is about all we're gonna get. We're at Konna Tokoro. We're at this point, I guess. That's about it. The next use of Tokoro here in a more abstract sense is here when you're talking about you're on the verge of about to do something, or maybe you just did do something. Chodo sono toki. Exactly at that time. So, for example, dekake yo to suru tokoro. Or, for example, mo sugu shiki ga hajimaru tokoro. This tokoro could actually be replaced with toki and it has a very similar meaning. So, you see how it's not just the place, it's not just the point, but here it's kind of the time. So, like, for example, ke ga suru tokoro datta, you were just about to be injured. Watashi, kore kara dekake ru tokoro nan desu. Moshi wake a r i m a s e n I'm right about to be leaving, right? I'm just on the point of leaving. I'm just about to return home. Ah, so nanda. Bokmo chodo iku tokoro datta nda ya. Chodo iku tokoro datta? I'm just on the point of going. Sneaku. Now, with the past form, we can see orita tokoro. So, following a verb in the past form now means I just did that action. I just went down. I just reported. 
ごめん待たせちゃったかないやお俺も今来たとこだから And finally, Kita Tokoro. I just got here. Now we're starting to get into the more tricky use of Tokoro. So, this use of Tokoro here, we can see Tokute no Jokyo ni okeru jitai o arawasu indicates a situation in a particular circumstance. Now, you can kind of use this as a replacement for in this situation or times when. Dun, dun, dun. For example, this first example sentence. Kanojo ga hitori de aruiteru tokoro o mita koto ga aru. That means that there are times when I have seen her walking alone. Now, here, you could actually say this sentence in English without even needing to translate the tokoro because it's kind of implying this image, right? The scene of her walking alone. So, the time when she was walking alone, you've seen, right? That kind of thing. So, like in 13 Sentinels, Godo to isho no tokoro o yokumita. I often saw them together, right? I often saw when they were together. Or like in Dragon Ball, when she lost consciousness due to the Hado, right? So here, 意識を失ったところ, when she lost consciousness. Or like in Berserk, Griffiths가やつといるところ, when he was with him. So again, we can see this kind of time when Griffith was with this guy. Yowatatokoro, when we're weak, the Titans will attack. Otsukare no tokoro is when you're tired. Moshiwake gozaimasen. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> and even like here in I was about to punch you in the face, right? So we're right on this situation where, you know, I would punch your jaw off, right? However, you're a girl, so I'm not going to. This next use is pretty straightforward. As we saw that there was kind of a point kasho or bubun that you can kind of point to and say that's the point sono tokoro well you can do the same thing in the abstract sense as well so for example here there are a lot of parts there are a lot of points that i don't understand it's not necessarily pointing to that point it might be a point in a story or a conversation but here it's more abstract here tokoro can also be used <laughs> So, for example, talking about personality, kawaii tokoro, the point of being cute, right? That cute part about that person. Strange parts, or kashina tokoro, so kind of strange points about the person. Yasashi tokoro, you have nice, kind sides or points to you. Here is a more abstract point in time, right? You came at a good point, right? So the time is the whole line and at this point, but it's a little bit more abstract, right? You came at a good point. And just like here with a very similar expression, just at the right time or just at the right point, just a little bit more abstract. The final piece of Tokoro here used in a more abstract sense is here talking that some piece of information is a certain way, like for example, according to. This is quite difficult to get that connection with point or part. But for example, kiku tokoro ni yoru to, according to the information that I heard, according to what I heard. Or like here, mita tokoro, what I saw, right? So, as for what I saw, there appears to be other rooms. So, according to what I saw. Again, this kind of what meaning here with imisuru tokoro o oshieru. I will teach you what it means. 
Here in Nino Kuni, it's a little bit easier to kind of point to the points here with Orega Mita Tokoro. So, according to what I saw, according to the things, the points that I saw, she doesn't seem to be sick or have anything weird about her. And then finally, seen here in judgment or judge eyes, here with shirabeta tokoro, so the things that I investigated. So, as for the things that we investigated, according to that evidence, according to that information. So, that's the two main ways that tokoro is used by itself, whether talked about in a spatial sense or it can be in a little bit more of an abstract sense. But it's not over yet because tokoro can also be used in grammar points, especially when it's connected with particles and things like that, and it can actually change the way that it's used almost entirely. Like, for example, here in near replicant. Even if you entered. So, this is a difficult one to see the connection with point, but this is a very, very common grammatical expression. The verb ta in the past form, tokoro de, means even if you did that action. So, here, even if you entered, you might not be able to return yona. Even if they were sacrificed, D would still come. Even if we let that guy go, he wouldn't have caused any problems for the Shinsengumi. Or like in Jojo, even if I told you, you guys wouldn't be able to understand. Now we have an expression to ita tokoro, and this means I would say or I assume. So, for example, like seen here in Metal Gear Solid 2, so I would assume or I would guess that the test was a success, that you passed the test. Or like here in Persona 3, we have Shokanki to itta tokoro dana. I guess or I would assume that it's some sort of summoning device. Or like for example again in Metal Gear Solid 2, we have the suffocation of the world. I guess. So this whole to itta tokoro kana is kind of like, I guess that's the point that it is. I guess that's what I could say. Sometimes you'll see tokoro used as dokoro instead, and this can mean things like instead of something, something else bigger happens or occurs, or even that something is worth doing. So, for example, here in Spider Man, the scientist is being a little bit humble, saying, you know, it's progressing quite well, and he's like, far from that, it was a huge success. So, oh, I guess it went well. No, sore dokoro ka, even more so, it was a huge success. In Alan Wake, we can see it used that more than in the middle of the night, you came home at 7 in the morning. More than being at the point of causing chaos, it would even cause shame to Shinra. So here it's like more than this point, it would go up to this point. Something dokoro ka, then the following thing which is even more. Finally, as I said, it can be used to show the worth of something. So like here, here are soldiers that are worth looking at. So here, midokoro, as I said, for being worth looking at, here it's kind of showing that this person is a noteworthy soldier, right? They're worth your attention. Midokoro no aru heishi.
Finally, we have two more pieces that are really easy to remember. First, tokoro ga for however. You could kind of look at this as like, that's the point, but, right, however. So see how it has a very similar use here where you're kind of saying, yes, that's the point, however, that's the point, but tokoro ga, however. And then the final use here is tokoro de. And so this means by the way. Tokoro de Benedicto. By the way, Benedict. Tokoro de Benedicto. So here it's like at that point, right? Tokoro de. De often uses to show the point of action. You don't need to look at this literally. It's quite simple. Just remember that tokoro de by itself means however. But just be careful because as we've already seen in this video, sometimes the de particle will follow tokoro. Like for example, shita tokoro de. Do you remember what that means? That means that even if you did something. And then even in other situations, de could just appear just because that's a part of the sentence itself, connecting some other part. So as you can see, tokoro has a lot of different ways that it can be used. You might have at first thought it was quite simple, right? Tokoro means place. The end. <laughs> but actually, there's so much more to this tokoro as you can see, right? It could be place point, a uh, point in time, uh, a point like a scene, like you saw someone, that tokoro, right? It could be personality in a more abstract sense, and it can be used in a huge variety of different grammatical expressions. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. As always, a huge thank you to all the supporters on Patreon. As always, I'll see you again in the next video. See ya.